Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabati fillah Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the strong man is not the one who wrestles but the strong man is in the fact the one who controls himself in a fit of rage. Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we see that strength is defined Islamically in a different way. It isn't just simply the body, the physical strength, although those things have great value as well. But here we see that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is showing us and letting us know in so many uh, ahadith that the Prophet ﷺ illustrate for us the importance of restraining one's anger, restraining one's nafs, jihad and nafs, restraining, you know, striving to suppress one's evil desire, striving to suppress one's evil, uh, d those evil inclinations, the whisperings of the shaitan, fi fighting off the shaitan in every way. And most of the time, that those are inner spiritual battles those are battles of the acts battles of the heart that require ibadah qalbiya the worship which is in internal the internal worship in the heart so and the other aspects of faith to help join and strengthen so for example the person who's struggling to not drink alcohol, for example, maybe they 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 uh, really enjoy alcohol, and they're having a difficult time fighting when they get depressed to return back to drugs or alcohol. I'm not talking to someone who's severely addicted, but I'm just talking about someone who struggles with it from time to time that this person requires an internal strength to not act upon that. That they have to fight within their heart, fight within themselves to convince themselves that Iman is sweeter than the taste of that alcohol or the taste of that weed. And likewise, what strengthens that is also the physical that they can aid themselves by doing extra prayer, supplicating to Allah more and more istighfar during that time of crisis. Because in fact, it's a time of crisis when you feel you're so inclined, you're a phone call away, you're just a few steps from your car from committing zina, from drinking, from going to buy some weed, some cocaine, whatever the case it may be. All of those difficult things that we struggle with. You're just just a you're just a fingers a hand span away from touching the keyboard to open those web pages, those websites that have the muharramat. So that way you can look and find deliciousness to feed your brain. You're just a, a finger finger a hand span away from doing such an act. That's gonna require fighting it internally, going to war internally to fight your desires. And then it will require those physical actions also to help you, to protect you by prayer and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the evil of ourselves. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم